you're going to look for the biggest, fattest, richest. Richest! 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 Next face. Is that your real hair? Well, sometimes it seems like it is. Huh? Hi, Buena! You know how one eye is usually smaller than the other? I feel like today it's extra small than other days, it's weird. What's up, big deal? girl, Elinipa, the big deal. Back again with another video. If you've never been to this channel, you're so welcome. And I'm Elinipa, the big deal. And now you're a big deal. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie Slay on Netflix. That is um an African movie, generally with the nationalities South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Tanzania. And yeah, let's see how it was. If you've not watched this movie, this video will have spoilers, so you can watch it first and watch this. If you don't plan to watch it, let me tell you about it. If you've watched it, let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, um, funny thing, I wanted to call these actors by name when I was talking about the movie. But today when I went on Netflix, it was not available in my country. I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, and it's... I felt some type of way. I, I was lucky to watch it like immediately when it was out. I am a night person. So it was around three and I was like, hmm, Slay's out today, right? Let me just watch it because I'm not sleepy. And I watched it on the day it was released. The poster, is it the poster? The image that was selling this movie made me watch it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I simp for Idris Sultan. The guy is fine. I like his style. I like his work. And I was like, I have to watch it. So I'll be highlighting um, the movie, what it was about, the actors, the directors, the writers, the music. Um, yeah, my dislikes and likes in the movie. And if you've watched it, share your thoughts. If you haven't yet, let me know after you watch it. Disclaimer. I'm going to review this movie as a from a fan's perspective, I'm no professional, I didn't do film, I didn't do anything, but just what I felt as I watched through this movie. So let's begin. The cast, first of all, it is Utan from East Africa, and I have seen the hype that was around um, when he announced that he was going to be in a movie. Tanzania does not have a movie movie in Netflix, and thus I don't know of it. If you know one, let me know in the comments. But yeah, it just fe featured in this and it was an exciting part in the Tanzanian side and they hyped it up and they supported it all the way. Ramsey Noah has been in a lot of movies. I cannot name one movie Ramsey Noah is in, but I know he's in more than a hundred and I've watched about 20. Yeah, it's been a while since I watched him, so I was excited to watch him again. Other names that were there were Tumi Morake. I'm not sure if I'm butchering her name. I'm sorry. From South Africa. And Trevor Gumby. I remember them from Seriously Single. That's an awesome African, South African movie you should watch. Um, and those are the familiar faces I saw in this movie. The rest are new faces apart from Idris, Ramsey. I don't know any of the rest. I wanted to use the names that they acted with. But it's not available in our country anymore. So the movie is about the struggles of dating in, the social, in this social media era. From Tinder to Instagram. Um, but like... Meeting people on their social media sites and buying the illusion that they portray at the moment, um, hoping that they will be that person and also fulfill your idea of who they are when you meet them, which mostly leads to disappointment. Um, it shows the hassle of slay queens. So we have there's Idris Sultan and his older brother. I'm sorry for using your original names, the actors, but I don't remember your names in the movie. And I was going to note them down, but it's not bad about my country. I mean, Yoma. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so it is Susan and his older brother. That's one. Ramsey Noah and his older brother. That's two. There's this beautiful lady who lives with her best friend. And we have these two best friends who live together. Uh, now, one best friend has her money. She dates rich guys, gets her money, pays her rent. The other one is a good girl who really doesn't, is not into that kind of lifestyle where um, you fish for money from men. And yeah, she just wants to earn honestly, earn honestly. <laughs> uh, we have Idris and his brother. Idris is a rich man who is interested in finding a pure love, an honest love. A girl who's not interested in his money but him. His brother who really doesn't give up. He just wants a good, re uh, 
good tan with a fine cheek and they roll then this beautiful girl over here who lives with her best friend she's looking for true love but by social media so she picks a guy the ideal guy she wants and when she goes to meet them it normally never works out her best friend is usually there for her and sharing helping her out when she gets stuck and so on and so forth before i get into what i thought about this movie that's the general idea of the movie i won't say like details details um i was thinking about this production as a whole and the work that was put into it and the names that were there and idris sultan specifically i wanted to expand on this he is a personality a public figure in tanzania and he has his own productions out in his channel locomotions and he has like awesome content out um and the hype that was put on this movie if it was the second half of it and put it on his own productions that were better than this movie i get the hype of netflix being an international platform and putting the flag out there but honestly his work deserved more hype than what it's given and people support his work yes but it could be more than this and the hype that was there if we ran to his personal projects and other creators that would be that would that would be good that would be good <laughs> I will do a video where I will suggest African movies and series to watch and channels that put out content really good quality and maybe you can support it from there we can begin from there so I like the cast beautiful people beautiful ladies beautiful men it was just wow I like the story in that it brought out something that is a challenge I like the idea of the story I like the acting because I believe that direction, production and scripts carry the whole thing. And if the actor comes and does his or her best, no matter how good bad the script was, it just comes out like the script and the production direction limits the goodness of the quality. So that's what I liked about um the movie. The actors, the story and the poster i like the poster that poster was good that poster sold me uh that poster is 70 percent of the reason why i watched the movie so what i disliked about the movie <laughs> uh honestly i didn't enjoy this movie as i thought i would um i disliked the story telling part of it there were holes there were gaps I was lost various times. I didn't know what was going on. I felt like they were limited in the time they had and they had to cut out a lot of information or stories because the stories are not adding up. It was just like, already, oh, how? Um, it, it didn't make sense to me, actually. It was just very carelessly put. There were a lot of hanging parts and no consequences to actions whatsoever you know how we used to african movies and to god be the glory and there's a lesson like at the end of the movie i didn't find a lesson in this it's just like yeah this happens and that was that uh rams you know his character was known to play girls and lie to them that he was this rich man but in real sense he was using his brother's money he was exposed in the end but he continued there were, there were no consequences to his actions like didn't his brother know didn't the aunt who helped expose him know like i was just very confused the guy Edwin sultan was looking for true love with the situation of their relationships of their relationship with this girl and the places they found themselves when she thought he was a driver and refused to go to a date with him when she was being harassed by this barber and he saw her from an angle that wasn't realistic from where he was sitting you know you see uh, he was sitting this way and she was being harassed that, that, like there's no way he could have seen her but he saw her i was just like how but then he saved her from this barber and from there it, there was something and she 
apologized when she knew he wasn't a driver and then it was all of a sudden like they were in love i i, I didn't get how for someone who was looking for something genuine it would have taken longer to know this girl first she thought you were a driver she didn't go out with you second you find her yes it was, it was her first time trying this hassle but you save her and now you're in love bruh if anything the brother's relationship made sense because he was looking for fun found a girl who was looking for fun kind of fell for her they were together it wasn't defined nothing was said like how deep they went to each other no, no, no. it wasn't that deep you know and that's a problem with idris and her and his girl it shouldn't have been that deep that fast that was so fast that deep deepness just went like and i was like wow you're looking for something genuine it didn't make sense um does the shamba boys or the house boys found the scammer and then what you know just a lot of questions and maybe it's they maybe maybe they wanted to go with the idea of leaving you hanging and you're like oh my god i don't know what happened next but that was that was not flowing <laughs> yeah i i finished it i was like huh huh I even had to rewatch it, I remember, and also look at what people were saying to kind of find the positive side because if I just came immediately, it would just have been like pure hating. Understand that putting a movie together is not an easy task. So it's not it, but it's something. And I believe like with time, there'll be better movies from them. Because with those household names and that platform, Netflix, like to the world and these big names, with this huge following and that yeah that was that was kind of disappointing really like with with Iris and the girl like the arguments they had they were sorted out so easily it's never that easy it was so awkward and weird and uh, i don't know i don't know but anyways she's got her revenge and that was i was satisfied with her ending she got her revenge cool but the guy was exposed she went on i wanted to see the drama with the brother idris and the girl that was unrealistic for him um unless there are stories in between that's what i'm saying if there are stories in between and they were cut out for some reason that makes sense because that story was just too many gaps so the music i get my playlist from movies I listen to them, like, whoa, who's that on? I listen to that. Go find the artist, listen to their songs, you know. I felt, especially there was a Cardi B song, and I was like, maybe it poses a situation, but I'm sure there's so many people who have songs in Africa, and they go with the situation. It was, I was like, oh yeah, because in my head, it's quite old right now. And I didn't get why they, won't, they didn't take like an African song. There was a song by David, no? but... This is the time you find artists that are not known. Put their awesome music there if you find it awesome. But the Cardi B song was like, that was the only song you have. We have STL kind of music. We have a lot, a lot of music. We have Brian Simba. We have Vanessa Day. We have like so many people who have the hyped up songs that could be used in a movie. I didn't get why we had a Cardi B song in there. Plus, it's old and outdated. The playlist could have been better. I had no song to look up. <laughs> I had no song to look up and be like, oh my god, what's this song? Yeah. Anyways, out of a 10, I give this movie a 4. 4. 4 for the effort. <laughs> 4 for the effort of making it. I did not really enjoy it. I will... Recommend you to watch it and see on your own perspective if you had not watched it. I don't know if they'll put it back up and if they do, you better just go watch it. If they don't, you now have what happened in it. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you thought about the movie. If you checked it out, if you didn't, check it out. Let me know what you thought about the movie. And yeah, that's it. I'm Eli Lipa. I'm a big deal. Be big deal and they can never slow me down i'm a big